What in the world is this nonsense? What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. I ended up taking two days off that I didn't plan on doing. Thursday I woke up and I had a migraine. And if you have migraines, you know like I was out the entire day. I didn't leave the bed. I left the bed one time to go upload the video and then right back to bed. I was throwing up. I hate migraines, they suck. And I try and catch them before they turn into like an actual migraine. Um, but I woke up with it already and it was just too late. I took a BC powder, chugged some water and I was out the entire day. And then yesterday on Friday I was working. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen it on my story or if you already saw it on YouTube, we've officially hit 30,000 subscribers, which honestly is mind blowing. I started this channel back in 2016 and I remember getting my very first subscriber and thinking how awesome it was that even one person wanted to watch my video and now here we are we just passed 30,000 which is honestly insane so whether you're a super og or you're brand new to the channel thank you guys so much it's crazy what this channel has turned into um it's always just been for me to, to share my love for cars and volkswagens and just what we're traveling and that kind of stuff so it's crazy to see how many people actually want to watch that as well so thank you guys so much it means the world to me we've got a lot of things to do this year and i think we're off to a pretty good start so far gotta finish the savoy then we're on to the pink floyd 1.8 turbo build uh the gt with whatever that's gonna be we have miley the r32 we have a lot of things to do this year so if you're not already subscribed make sure you guys do so it's gonna be a fun year so the only actual plans i had for today the spark plugs for miley and a few pieces of the savoy should be here today but now it's saying delivery by 9 p.m tonight so there's a chance it might not happen until tomorrow but i did find something else we can do today check these things out such a cool seat pattern these are out of a 98 i want to say say at ibiza which is pretty much the same thing as a mark 3 golf subframes are the same brakes are the same a lot of the same engines um the front seats look to mount up identical to a mark 3 the rears are a little bit different the tops are the same this portion and then down there and then having the mount in the center but look at the base here where this actually goes on um, mounts flat on top versus on the front side like a Mark III. But I think if I just pull this off and put a Mark III one on, it should mount the exact same way. But super, super cool pattern. And I think they might work for the Savoy. Now, obviously, they're gonna need a serious cleaning. I'm waiting to hear back from Andy right now if I can use his wet back to actually go through and like clean these like deeply because like, yeah, they're kind of nasty. But under that, the pattern is really cool. Lots of nice bolstering. I love how the pattern goes out to the bolster down here and down in here. So I think these might be our seats for the Savoy or for another Mark III project, but they are pretty cool. So I'm gonna try and get them clean up today and then we'll test fit until they actually work. Like I said, the fronts are identical. The front should be fine. I'll just have to see if I can swap out this one right here for a Mark III one. And I believe the rear should work as well. So I just noticed these seats are kind of the same as the ones we just put in the Savoy, where this one here, the driver's seat has the adjustable base and the handle here to actually lower this portion down further and sit lower in the car where the passenger side here does not have the handle. And you can see down here, this is the fixed base. So this bottom seat can't go any lower. It can't move at all. And I'm being told in the European car is a very common thing for the driver's seat to have the adjustment and not for the passenger seat, which I don't quite like because I like to sit very low in the car. So I don't want this seat sitting lower than this seat. Looks kind of awkward to me. So at some point, I think I'll try and go through and swap this base out for the adjustable one. All right, little one six. Power! She's fast. She's so fast. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I tell you what, the 1.6, the Mark IVs, I just love it. The 1.6 SR, 1.6 16 valve. I, I just, it's not about it. It's just a good engine. So as you can see, we're currently on the Autobahn heading to Andy's shop. He said it's cool by stop by and use his vacuum. So by the end of the day, hopefully these seats look brand new. I hope all the dirt and sanding comes off them because they are pretty cool seats. So we'll see about that. But he also said, make sure I bring my camera because he has a pretty cool car in the shop. So we'll see what he has in the store. Three, two, one, and go. Shop now. Let's see what kind of car he's talking about. 
Ooh. Okay. That's not bad. That's a. That's not bad. Ooh. That's a. That's not bad at all. Yeah. This thing. Uh. This thing's sick. Now it's not a Mark III, of course, but like. Yeah. That's. That's pretty good. I love this thing. Look at the wheels. Ooh. Let me get them calipers, sir. This thing is too good. I love the gated shifter. That is such a beautiful car. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Again, it's not a Mark III, so I mean, it's not like perfect, but like, it's pretty good. It really looks like a, a kid's car. Dang. Just look at the welding. It's all factory, right? Yeah. This is a factory though. No, that's Is not. it loud? No. Not really? No. Absolutely. This not. looks like it'd be very loud. Are these? That's not cool. Metal air boxes. Man, that thing is massive. <laughs> that thing is so big. I probably fit that in Mark III. It's probably doable. That thing's huge. It's so cool though. That's why I said metal air boxes. Just some good old Miami Vice in Germany. This thing's sweet though. Yeah, it definitely sounds really good, but I was expecting like screaming Ferrari. I mean, this thing looks like it'd be very loud, but yeah, it's really not that loud. Sounds good though. That's a cool car. It just looks cool, like just so classic looking. Everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing to the feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing to the feeling it right. This car has so many awesome details. 90s cars are just the best. I love the poles right here. The gated shifter, little cassette holder in the middle. This thing is just so cool. So many cool details about it. And I love on the door, when you open it, you can see right through all these vents. Like, that's so sick. 90s cars are so, so cool. Look at the pedals too. You sit way over here and the pedals are way that way to the right and very, very close together. Dude, this thing is so cool. I was told to honk the horn. <laughs> this thing is just all around cool. What it does need though, you see this right here? It definitely needs some trim paint. Oh yeah. She needs some, uh, some trim paint love. Looks like we got a Mark II coming up on us. Look at that thing. 1989 how sick all right back home now and check out this fancy unit so again thank you andy let me borrow this this should hopefully make your seats look brand new and right over here i spy a fancy box from good old auto dock so in this box we have the new spark plugs from miley and then also the vr6 radiator for the vr5 for the savoy and then also the new slave cylinder for the o2j transmission so all of that stuff will end up doing tomorrow but today I'm really excited to try and clean these seats. The rear seat backs here actually look to be in pretty good shape. So hopefully everything can look this good by the time I'm done. Yeah, these seats need some serious love. They're so dirty. But on the bright side though, all of the bolstering, the foam, there's no like tears in any of them. So the seats are in great shape. If we can clean them up, they'll look perfect. So as for this fancy thing here, we're gonna fill this side with hot water and then some detergent and then go to work. All right, we've got our soap and our hot water inside there. This one is for that oh look at that fancy and then this one is for the vacuum oh yeah game time
definitely not bad for the first pass because this used to look like that. And honestly, these came out pretty good. I'm gonna do fair passes. I have to hit the side over here still, right down there. But this actually came out really, really nice. I'm not sure if you can tell in the time lapse or not, but the water coming out of these seats was literally black going into here. It was so, so bad. I'll have to do a close up on this piece here when I do that seat, cause it's gonna be rough. All right, we'll do the passenger seat next. I want you guys to see how gross the water coming out of this thing is. It's bad. Turn this on, turn this on. nastiness in these seats but honestly that's looking pretty good so far a couple more passes and hopefully everything looks just like this All right, I think we're officially done. I did this for probably 25 or so minutes. I did each seat uh, three or four times with the detergent and the vacuum itself, and I went through and used some of this stuff with the little lily brush here and just went around and just scrubbed everything in nice and clean and now they're actually looking really really good so this was the best one from before the backs here and then this section of the passenger seat but i got the bases actually come out pretty good now right now they're still damp so the car's not fully there they're a bit dark right now but in the driver's seat most of this came out i'll have to wait till it's fully dry and see but look at that you can see the colors coming back down there so i'll have to see i'm gonna let them dry overnight and we'll have to see how they look tomorrow, but the seats are cool. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the front should fit no problem. The rear back should fit no problem. I have to see about changing um, this piece here to the Mark III one. But I think these could be pretty cool seats for the Savoy. Now, 100%, I still want to do the factory Savoy fabric on a Recaro seat. I think that would be such a cool seat for the car. But in the meantime, these aren't bad. I want to say that Jamie has a set of these seats in one of his cars. I saw it in one of his live streams. I can't remember which car it was, but they look pretty cool. Again, I want to say massive thank you to Andy. This machine worked so, so well and made this job a million times easier. He also said I could use this for as long as I need. So while I got it, I'm going to go through and do pretty much every seat in all the cars to make them look brand new. But with that, going to end the video here. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of these seats? And if you have a set in your Mark III, send me a photo. I want to see them. Do not forget, be thankful for every single Oh my God, listen to this. So you guys know, I checked the tracking for my clutch a million times a day, and it hasn't showed an update since the 13th saying it's in transit. I just checked it just now. It says arrived at the APO box February 27th, which is today, and it arrived at 4.48 p.m. It closed at 5 p.m. I was at work anyways, but the clutch is here, boys. The clutch is finally here and made it. Holy crap, it actually made it yo i'm so excited what kind of sucks though i can't pick it up until monday now because tomorrow's sunday but yo the clutch <laughs> made it dude vr5 sounds coming soon yo i am so excited like i said i checked the tracking a million times a day i can't believe it's finally here this week coming up boys the vr5 will be in the savoy and hopefully all goes well and we have the first startup Holy crap, I cannot wait. Yo, what perfect timing. The radiator just got here. The slave loader just got here. Dude, I cannot wait. It's happening. It's finally happening. I know it has been a very long time coming, but we are finally on the home stretch. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. 
We'll see you guys next time. Peace.